What's up, hackers, and welcome back to the Exploit Lab. Today, we're diving into an incredible OSINT tool that's going to level up your reconnaissance game. We're talking about Go Search, a powerful tool written in Go that searches anyone's digital footprint across more than 300 websites. And the best part? It can even check for leaked credentials in massive breach databases. Let's get started. First things first, let me show you what Go Search is all about. Go Search is essentially a Sherlock clone, but with some serious upgrades. It's faster, more accurate, and packed with features that Sherlock just doesn't have. While Sherlock is Python based and can be slow, Go Search leverages the power of Go for lightning fast concurrent searches. The tool is created by IBL Nalim and is available on GitHub. What makes Go Search special? Well, it doesn't just search for usernames across social media platforms. It also checks massive breach databases, including Hudson Rock's Cybercrime Intelligence API with 900K leaked credentials, Proxy Nova's database with 3.2 billion credentials, and breachdirectory.org with a whopping 18 billion credentials. All right, let's get this installed in Kali Linux. The installation is super straightforward. First, make sure you have Go installed on your system. If you don't, you can install it with. This command updates our package lists and installs the Go programming language, which we need to compile and run Go Search. Once Go is installed, we can install Go Search with a single command. This command downloads and installs the latest version of Go Search directly from the GitHub repository. The at latest tag ensures we get the most recent version. After finish, navigate to the folder cd go slash bin and ls. Great, now let's see Go Search in action. The basic usage is simple, just specify a username with the U flag. This command searches for the username test user across all supported websites. Go search will concurrently check hundreds of sites and display any profiles it finds. But here's where Go search really shines. It has a fantastic feature to reduce false positives. Let's run it with the no false positives flag. This command performs the same search, but only displays results that Go search is confident exist. It filters out potential false positives, giving you more reliable results. This is especially useful for professional OSINT work. Now for the really powerful stuff, breach searching. Go search can check if a username appears in any known data breaches. For this, you'll need an API key from breachdirectory.org. Let's see how it works. This command searches for the username test user and also checks breach directory's database for any compromised passwords associated with that username you'll need to replace your API key with your actual breach directory API key. The no false positives flag ensures we only get reliable results. What's really cool is that if GoSearch finds password hashes, it will automatically attempt to crack them using WeakPass. The success rate is nearly 100% because WeakPass uses massive word lists of common passwords that align with the breach data. Even if you don't have a breach directory API key, GoSearch still checks other breach databases automatically. Let me show you. Even without the B flag for breach directory, GoSearch will automatically search Hudson Rock's cybercrime intelligence database with 900K leaked credentials and Proxy Nova's database with 3.2 billion credentials. It also searches common TLDs for any domains associated with the username. What if you don't know the exact username? GoSearch works great with username generation tools. Let me show you how to use username anarchy to generate potential usernames. First, we clone the username anarchy repository. This tool helps generate possible usernames based on a person's name. We navigate into the username anarchy directory. This command generates various possible usernames for someone named John Doe. You can then take these generated usernames and feed them into GoSearch for comprehensive OSINT gathering. One of the best features of GoSearch is its color-coded results system. Unlike Sherlock, which can give you false positives and negatives, GoSearch uses colors to indicate result confidence. Green results are confirmed matches, yellow results are potential matches, possible false positives, and red results are not found. This color coding makes it incredibly easy to quickly identify which results are reliable and which need further verification. Let me show you a real-world example of how you might use GoSearch in a penetration test or security assessment. This command searches for the username jsmith and saves all the results to a text file called jsmith.osint.txt. This is great for documentation and reporting. And there you have it. 
GoSearch is an incredibly powerful OSINT tool that combines username searching with breach database checking all in one fast and reliable package. Whether you're a penetration tester, security researcher, or just curious about OSINT, GoSearch is definitely a tool you want in your toolkit. Thanks for watching this episode of the Exploit Lab. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more cybersecurity tutorials and tool reviews. Drop a comment below if you have any questions about GoSearch or if there are other tools you'd like me to cover. Until next time, happy hacking!